So, today is the day that I respond to many, many idiots and many hypocrites. Too many people on YouTube make a video saying, you know, the, you know, they, they title the video something provocative so they get views, and that's something related to religion, and, you know, that, or, or, you know, uh, and they say, at the beginning of the video, they're like, I'm okay with whatever, you know, th they, they throw out this overall persona that, that they're okay with different beliefs, different lifestyles, different backgrounds, different religions, different whatever, but they make a video saying the exact fucking opposite, mocking someone's religion, their lifestyle, their viewpoints, their beliefs. They, they are fucking hypocritical, they deserve to be beat the fuck out of, and I don't give a fuck how weird that makes me or how much of a troll that makes me. I just think that being a hypocrite is much worse than believing in an invisible man's sky, as some people say I do, uh, or being a dick about it. I think being a hypocrite is way worse than if someone who's a Christian walks up to you and tries to force their beliefs down your throat. Yes, I'm saying that, because guess what you're doing when you go on these things and you go on these little tangents? One, you're lying. Two, you're taking back what you just fucking said. And three, you're kind of trying to force it out into the public and make people believe the way you do. I don't want to hear I'm trying to educate retards. I don't want to, I don't want to hear that argument because I know I'm not retarded. I'm not retarded. Because I've addressed this many times that a belief is more than just, you know, I haven't even read the Bible, but my spirituality tells me. I feel it. You know, it's, and you can hate on that all you want. You can make fun of me for it all you want. You can say, well, you just believe that there is an invisible man in the sky. Because you know what? I, I really don't care. But you should know, for those of you that do this in videos, um, you should know that you just alienated half of your fucking audience. You just told them, get out. I don't like you, I don't need you as a subscriber, I don't want you in my fan base. And that could be most of your subscribers, and you could go from 5,000 subscribers to 25. You don't know. How about we just stick to making videos about actual issues? Since, if someone really believes in God, or, you know, Buddhism, or Hinduism, or whatever their spirituality may be, if they really believe in it, you're not going to shake their faith. If they're leaning towards leaving it, they're going to do it. No matter what, they're going to come to a solution eventually. So why don't we just shut up about it? I understand there was a bait, debate recently between Bill Nye and this guy whose name is Ham. I don't know who, I know who Bill Nye the science guy is. He's a very smart guy. And I can respect him, even though he doesn't believe in God. But he basically has, you know, probably said things that are the opposite of him. If he met a Christian and they said, I'm a Christian, but I really like your show, and I watched it growing up, and I think you're really smart, he'd probably look at them and go, don't call me smart, you're a retard, your definition of smart means nothing to me. Um, because that's how a lot of atheists are. By the way, if you're an atheist, you're wrong already. How can you say that something definitely doesn't exist, and at the same time say there's no proof of it in any direction? If there's no proof that something does exist, there's no proof that it doesn't exist, I just blew all your fucking theories to shit. Um, and I'm not one of those people that argues in a room full of my peers to win. Or, you know, puts myself in a situation where I don't know But if I was going to have a debate with somebody, I would do it with me and them in a room, and that's it, and a camera. I wouldn't have a crowd of people there. I, I just wouldn't, and I wouldn't have a forum open, I wouldn't have a live, or anything, because I don't know how to do that, because I've never looked into it, but I would also not do that, because I would want my own opinion to be the one that's heard, I would want their opinion to be the one that's heard, and, like I've said, if you believe in something, you're not going to change that belief, no matter who yells at you and screams at you and tells you it's stupid, if you really do believe in that system, in that God, or deity. You know, it, that's what matters to you. And you can feel it within your spirit and your spiritual self. 
I'm not saying everyone has to have that experience. I'm not saying everyone even has to have the faith. I'm not saying that at all. I actually am accepting of other people and their backgrounds and their faiths. But my arguments are kept to myself until I feel provoked. And then I'm going to put them out there in any way I feel possible. I'm not telling you to believe the same way I am. I'm not telling you that you should, you know, believe exactly what I believe or anything like that. I'm not saying that you're dumb if you don't. I'm not saying you're going to hell because I don't know who's going to hell. I don't know. Honestly, no Christian knows who's going to hell. So if any Christians come up to you and say, you're going to hell, polite their mind them to stop playing God. And that's coming from a Christian. Now, I'm going to go, because I make too many videos that go on to be like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and this video is going to stand.